Let's talk about two-dimensional data in R. So far we've learned how to make vectors which are just one-dimensional arrays. So if I type in vals and 1 colon 10, now we've just created a vector of length 10 that's numeric that just contains the numbers 1 through 10. We can store these in a two-dimensional matrix, for example, uh, with the matrix function. So I'll create a matrix that I'll call M. I'll type in matrix. And the first argument to this function in matrix is going to be the values inside of that matrix. So I want those values to just be my object vals, 1 through 10. And then we have to tell R how many rows and how many columns we want. So let's make five rows, two columns. Okay, we'll take a look at M. Notice that R by default will write these values in column by column. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the first column and 6 through 10 in the second. It's a little bit redundant to specify both number of rows and number of columns in this case. If I only specify that I want 5 rows, because I have 10 values, R is going to figure out that I have to have 2 columns. So even if I only specify n row equals 5, I get exactly the same matrix out. So one issue with matrices is that every entry has to have the same class. But a lot of the times if we're working with data tables or data that we're really collecting, we have some numbers, we might also have some character data. So let's create a character vector. Uh, I'll just call it group. And one of my groups is going to be group A. And the other group is going to be group B. And I'm going to repeat this vector, group A, group B, five times. So that group is this, group A, group B, group A, group B, and so on, until we get to 10 entries. Let's store the values in this group identifier together in the same object. We can do that with a data frame. Data frames allow you to have objects with different classes inside of them. So I'll call my data frame df, and then use the data.frame function. And inside of these parentheses, the arguments are essentially just going to be the columns in your data frame. So I want to have one column for group and one column for vals. Take a look at df, and we can see that we've got all of my group identifiers and then the values. And this again is a two-dimensional data structure. We've got 10 rows, two columns.